Well, there's a variety of ways to move a parabola around uh, for, uh, for a quadratic equation. We've talked about how a can cause it to flip upside down or get wider or, or narrower. And those are what we call transformations. And the second thing we'll talk about is translations. So translations uh, are, are moving vertically or horizontally. And so for those, we talk about h and k. So first of all, how about k? So k, k is going to move things vertically. And so let's draw our perfect y equals x squared that we always start with. So here it is. Now if we want to move y equals x squared downwards, k needs to be less than zero. In other words, k needs to be a negative number. So, for instance, if I say that y equals x squared subtract 2, then the parabola for y equals x squared will just simply move down two points, and the, the vertex will move down two points, and we will draw the exact same parabola, same shape, same width, facing the same direction just with the vertex two points down and as you can probably guess if I said something like y equals x squared plus one we would just take that original vertex and move it up one and we would draw that very same parabola again just as wide pointing the same direction but just moved up one. So k, which is when the number is being added or subtracted from x squared, is just going to move the parabola up or down. So that's the k here in vertex form. Secondly, we have h. And h is what is going to move things horizontally. h is for horizontal. That's how you can kind of remember the difference between the two. So if h is greater than zero, in other words, if it's a positive number, the parabola moves to the right. Horizontally, if h is less than zero, the parabola moves to the left. Now this can be a little bit tricky because the way that h shows up in vertex form equations is a little bit tricky. So let's just take a look at that. So once again, pardon me, once again here is our y equals x squared. Right here on the origin. So this is y equals x squared. Now, if I want to move this horizontally, uh, h, if I want to move it horizontally to the right, h must be greater than zero, must be positive. So if I had something like y equals, and here's what you have to remember, it's x minus h, all in brackets, and then squared. Okay, so if, if you had something like uh, y equals x squared minus 2, that's not h, that's k. The h has to be in the brackets with the x before it's squared. The other thing to notice is that in standard vertex, or in vertex form, it's x minus h. So this is kind of tricky. If h is, say, 6, we don't actually write x plus 6, we write x minus 6 because all we're doing is we're substituting that 6 in for the h. So it becomes it becomes y equals x minus 6 squared. So that can be kind of tricky. When you see a quadratic relation uh, written like this, x minus 6, you're probably going to be tempted to think that h equals negative 6, but it doesn't, it equals 6. Okay, so now that we know that x minus 6 squared means that h equals positive 6, then we look and we see that if h, h is greater than 0, the parabola moves to the right. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, move that vertex over 6 points, draw the exact same parabola, just 6 units to the right, and there we have it. y equals x minus 6 squared. And we can say the same for moving in the other direction. So perhaps h is negative 2. Well, how would we write that? 
remember that h is going to look different than what you expected. So y equals x. So if it's x minus h and h is negative 2, then what you might say is x minus negative 2. But we know that subtracting a negative is the same as adding. So that's going to be x plus 2. So h is probably going to throw you for a loop pretty often because it's going to it's going to look kind of like the opposite sign of what you expect it to be. So try not to get tripped up by that. It's just something you have to kind of memorize. So if h equals negative 2, then it's going to be y equals x plus 2 squared. So looking at this quadratic relation, we can see that h is negative 2, which means that we're just going to take that vertex of y equals x squared, and we're going to move it over 1, 2 to the left. Draw that same parabola just two units to the left. And so h moves things horizontally. h is for horizontal. So that's what h does. And this is what k does. And we have already seen what a does. Can we use all three together to move a parabola all over the place? Well, absolutely we can. So let's take a look. So here, I'll write it out again. y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So now if I give you an example, you should be able to figure out how to move it. So y equals negative 2 x minus 1 squared plus 3. So let's draw our Cartesian plane here, our graph, and let's see whether we can figure out what to do with our y equals x squared. So here is what we're starting with. We start with y equals x squared like this. Now what is a going to do? Because we know that the coefficient here, no, minus 2, is a. Well it's negative so it's going to flip it upside down. Perfect. Before we draw it we can also see that it's negative 2 which means that it's going to be narrower. So it's going to be flipped upside down and narrower. So remember that. So it's pointing down and it is narrow. What is h? Well h is going to equal 1. I can equal negative 1, it's just going to equal 1. So we're going to be moving 1 to the right. So move 1 unit to the right. And then k is a positive 3, so we're going to move 3 units up. Move 3 units up. Okay, so our vertex is going to be 1 unit to the right, so we're moving 1, and then it's going to be 3 units up, so 1, 2, 3. Here's our vertex, and before we draw the parabola, remember that it's pointing down, and it's narrower than, than the normal one. So we're going to have something like this. Now this is kind of an estimation because we we don't have a table of values to be perfect here, but more or less that's what it will look like. And just to prove it, let's just open Winplot here and we'll graph both these equations. So y equals x squared It's going to look like that. And if we add another one, the formula was y equals negative 2 x minus 1 squared plus 3. So negative 2 bracket x minus 1 squared plus 3. And let's just zoom out a little bit here. And there we have it. We have the exact same parabola that we kind of estimated. Uh, its vertex is at coordinate 1, 3 and it is a little bit narrower than y equals x squared and it's pointing downwards. Now the only thing that we were probably a little bit imprecise on was where it would intercept the y and x axis um, and that's something that we can use our equations to figure out but we get the general shape here just by looking at the equation and, and that's how we can use um, that's how we can use standard form, uh, sorry, vertex form, the A, the H, and the K in, in vertex form 
to help us uh, rough out uh, what the shape and location of a parabola might be.